beautifuls happy Wednesday and welcome to Ayers craft today we are going to continue on the upcycle series using jean fabric now today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this beautiful beautiful sanitary pad pouch now if you're new to my channel you are very welcome but please subscribe and also click the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video and if you like this video please do not forget to give it a thumbs up so now let's get started on materials First, I'm going to explain the templates. These are simple templates, right? This is a five inch by five inch square template. And this is five inch by eight inch long. And what I did to get this curve is simply fold it in half and just give it a nice smooth curve. So now you're gonna cut two of this and also two of this. Trace, trace your fabric, trace your pattern onto the fabric like so. My chalk line is actually faint, but I can see it, but I'm sure you won't be able to see it on camera. But trace. Trace your fabric. And then cut two of each. So now, there we have it. Two of this. of this now I am going to sew take this right side and place right side of the other and sew along the edges step one sew along the edges be right back like so as you can see I have I have sewn it that way so now turn it over and then run another stitch on top again so that's it done Next step is to attach your button. So I'm going to put the button right about here. Right about here. Why I'm using button is because I do not have um, a snap button. I do not have a mag I don't have a magnetic snap button neither do I have the plastic snap button but if you have any of that that also would work so I'm simply just going to tack my button in here There we have that part done. Cut out two inches of elastic. You can also use hair pack, the thin ones as well, if you can't find this in the market. So I had it in black, so I simply just cut it two inches of that. So I'm going to place this part facing down right the two inch fabric 
I will try to center it to say somewhere around here if you're having difficulties you know keeping it in place you can just tack it in so that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna tap this see what I'm doing So now this facing up, this facing up, and this part facing down. And we're going to take it to the machine and sew one, two, three leave this place leave this place do not sew that place yet so one two three all right so let's take it to the machine so now i'm back i've sewn it round like so here is opened you will see why now we're going to flip it inside out Oh, I almost forgot. Curve edges, just uh, for ease. You can trim also if you want to. I think I'll trim it a little. It's so too close. Oh, jeans, 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 jeans. Just like that. Make it just a tiny notch. Right, so now see the bottom part, flip it. You can also use your scissors for those edges so that you can bring them out properly. Yes, I didn't really give it the curvy edge that I wanted. I didn't really get the curve edge that I wanted, but it's so good. Right, but we're not done yet. We still have this rough edges. So this is what we are going to do. We're going to take go inside the pocket pinch these two parts and turn it in now we're going to go back to the machine and sew around here I'll be right back so now so now I have sewn it in and I'm simply going to tuck it back, tuck, tuck it back. Now this is it. Take your scissors. snap that part out and here just so that it goes in properly and then tuck it back in you can use your scissors or any sharp object too pull your edges and there you have it no, I'm a sucker for appliques, so I can do this. And that is it. You are done. 
can decorate it with anything pearls stones appliques i just have some appliques around so i used it and voila you're done you have a stylish way of carrying your parts around without you know feeling uncomfortable and it can take about two to three parts there you have it and if you like this video please do not forget to give it a thumbs up thank you all for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye bye